The words I speak are too powerful for text. What's cracking power director peeps? It is Tablet Tuesday. So today I'm gonna show you how to do the speech to text effect using the Power Director Mobile video editor app. If you're new to my channel and you wanna learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. The speech to text effect makes it appear that the words are being typed on the screen as you're speaking. It uses pictures and titles to make a cool effect for any video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the speech to text effect for your videos. Let's go head on and talk that talk. First thing you wanna do is grab a screenshot of a comment on YouTube. Let's go ahead and jump into YouTube real quick. And I'm gonna have to turn this so I can capture my comments. And here you see the comment section. So what I'm gonna do on my Android device that I'm using right now is I'm gonna hit the power and the volume down button. And it'll create a screenshot or a screen capture of that. Then I can go ahead and leave here. Can go to my files, go to images. And I got a screenshot right here. Can tap on the screenshot and I can open this in Photo Director. So now that I'm in Photo Director, I want to go to Tools. And we're going to go ahead and crop. So we're going to crop this down right to the size of the comment here that my homeboy Kentucky Ranger left for me. And you can go ahead and tap on the check mark. And then you got a beautiful little comment here that you can roll with. Now what we want to do is remove the words except for Kentucky Ranger and the stuff beneath it. So we can go ahead and tap on cut out. And right now we're on the plus is enabled. So we can go ahead and tap on the things that we want to keep. And if we notice that there's some stuff we don't want to keep, like the words in the middle, we can tap on minus. And then we can start to just go ahead and remove the red from the areas that we want to make sure get removed. And then you can go ahead and tap on cut. And then what we want to do is make all this area that see through, we want to make it white. So we're going to tap on white. And now we got a good logo. We got everything except the word. So we want to go ahead and tap on the check mark and then we'll tap on save. So now that we got that created, we're ready to go ahead and add our own beautiful text. So we're going to go ahead and open power director. I'm going to tap on the media icon. I'm going to tap on photo director. We're going to tap on the image that we want to use and we're going to tap the plus sign and it'll add that to the main track. We can go ahead now and tap on back and tap on back. And for this image, I want it to be kind of long. So I'm going to move it out here to about 45 seconds. And now what we want to do is add the text to this. So I'm going to move my playhead over a little bit to where I want the text to begin. I'm going to tap on the overlay icon and under the title designer, we're going to tap on pop up one. I'm going to tap on the plus sign and it'll add it right where the playhead was. And then we want to go ahead and tap on the title and I'm going to place my finger over this line here and drag this out to about 25 seconds. You may want it to be longer or shorter. It's really up to you. And now we're going to go ahead and tap on title designer. And now we can type in the text that we want to have here. Once you got your text typed in, you want to tap on the edit icon and we're going to tap on the color and change the text color to black. Now the text 
is more like grayish on YouTube. So we're going to use a slider here to bring the black down a little bit. Try to get it closer to gray. And I like that pretty much right there. And now that we got that where we want it, we want to pinch in on this text to get it to the size that we want. And then you can go ahead and play it back and see what it looks like. If you don't like the size or anything like that, you can make your adjustments. I don't like the size there. It was kind of a little too big. And I like that a lot better. So what you can do is if you want the text to move faster or slower, you can make adjustments to the title. So if I tap on the title and I hold my finger over the line on the right and move it to the left, this makes the title shorter, which makes the text go on the screen faster. And if you tap on it and you hold your finger over the line on the right and trim it out to the other side, it will make the text move slower. So keep in mind, longer duration, slower text, shorter duration, faster text. We got everything all set up, but if you play this back near the end, you'll notice that the text goes back the other way off the screen. And we don't want that. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and produce this clip to create a, a composite. And then you can save it where that text does not go back off the screen. So if you tap on the produce icon, you can go ahead and select how you want to produce it. Now once it's done, you can go back and you can import that clip. So let's go ahead and go to media, power director, we'll tap on the clip. We'll tap on the plus sign to add it. So now what we can do is we can actually move this forward to the position where it stops and if we keep going forward watch it'll go off the screen but now we can actually split this clip right here delete the end off and now it'll just go on the screen and stay there and at the end of the clip it'll just stop Word is bond. If you like what you see, I'll leave a link to try out Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.